In the previous tutorials, we have created a, a file download select. So in this tutorial, we can continue with that uh, file download select and we can finish up that application now. Right now. So to download file, what we need to do is uh, we need a file which which have already been uh, created in the previous tutorial and uh, for that file we have taken a reference in web.xml file so this is supposed to be context param and description and param name and param value for the file which was uh, which was uh, there in e drive demo the name of the file is uh, demo file.txt the next thing is so we need to create an application to download that file from the client um, download that file from the server by the client so here i'm going to go for public query or public stream path and i'll go for public void init method and within init method i'm going for path is equal to um, get select context dot get init parameter so that the init parameter is supposed to be a file here in the name of the parameter we can put that uh, name file within this uh, in getting parameter method and so here we got the path here and uh, next is for the price statement i will remove this uh, print writer and uh, remove this out dot close this two and here in this one here we can create a file input stream object input stream file to download equals to new file input stream we have to use path over here and we can import this class so after that we can go for select output stream out equals to response dot get output stream so we can import this class too and next is so response dot set content type so we need to set the content type so that is supposed to be application slash OCPP stream and next we can set response dot set content length is supposed to be file to file to download dot available and the next thing is here we can set the response dot set header the header is supposed to be content disposition come on here it is uh, attachment column party costume Name is supposed to be ABC. Are you ABC? This is not file, this is a file name. And after this, we can go for the variable in C. And while C here C equals to file to download dot this is uh, 
file to download dot read so this is supposed to be read which is not equal to minus one so if it is uh, not equal to minus one we can go for uh, out dot write that is c and then we can go for out dot close then before close out dot flash and after that we're gonna go for file to download dot close so we have to close the file in the stream as well and uh, here so this is a complete application to download the file here so this is c so here we can run this application here so go for the download file of course it will be downloaded with the file over here all right let's see the file so open this file open this with notepad we got our files which we have created right now so this is how the files will be downloaded from the uh, servlet applications so we can change this so abc.txt the name of the file and uh, run this application one more time okay so click on download so i will download with abc.txt and so click on this one so we will be getting the file so we can add the given in the parameter name and its values in the demo demo files which was there in the internet already and the next thing is so we have created with file input stream class so we can see this input stream class say here the file input stream is a class so it obtains bytes from the file in a file system so this totally it will obtain the file from the file system so which is used to read the file and then again select output stream so this is the one more class which was a, a servlet class so that is a present in a java extra servlet so its syntax is supposed to public abstract class servlet output stream extends output stream it provides output streams for sending the binary data to the client so it's basically used to write the data to the client with the output stream object and uh, this can be normally retrieved using the response.get output stream so basically this response.get output stream returns the servlet output stream suitable for writing the binary data to the response and here the response to set content type it resets the length of the content of the body uh, so not uh, so not content type it is a set content length it is set, set the length of the here one more is a response to set content length is over so we can go for type it sets the content type of the response being sent to the client so that is called set content type and a set header is something like sets the response header to the given name on the value so we will be having uh, these methods which are used here and using those methods we have created uh, a servlet application which is used to download the 
files from the server to the client system. So 